Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the new Google Chrome web browser. So my first impressions, here they are. First things first, let's go to the Google website and download it. So go to google.com slash chrome to download the beta. So remember, this is still in beta mode, so you don't want to go ahead and assume that it's ready and, um, and bug free. So right now, first things first, is during the setup, when I ran it, I had Firefox running at the same time so when it got to the point that it asked me to import my bookmarks and settings I had to skip it okay because it wouldn't allow me to do it unless I shut down Firefox okay so just keep that in mind as soon as you're done uh, going through the process here of running it it will ask you if you want to download your um, your settings and of course you can customize these settings and uh, and choose um, from Internet Explorer if you're if you're using that instead of Firefox okay these are the default settings that are in there to import and install the new Google Chrome web browser so I skipped it like I said and then it automatically then continued and launched the uh, new web browser so the first thing I wanted to mention when you first look at it you're gonna think oh this is all it is well it is pretty clean, straightforward. It's got tabs, right? So we're all familiar with the tabs. They're fixed in width, so you can't adjust the size of, the, of those tabs. That's what it, what they look like. It's got the field here that you can type in ahead. It's got the smart, you know, URL search here for you, all in one box. Okay, so this this long URL field here is not just for for that, but also for typing in your search. Um, my flash was working right off the bat so I didn't have to go in and download any plugins or anything um, the themes there are no themes okay so what you see is what you get okay by default that blue theme is there and that's what you get the little plus sign there adds a new tab right and when you get a new tab it will tell you the most visited sites that you went to recently right and your history so it will keep it in there and you can manipulate those and, and do things with those those thumbnails snapshots of what you've recently accessed right through that new tab option so um, I like these tabs because they're a little bit more dynamic now than, than uh, previous tabs from Firefox or IE so that's a nice little feature uh, that they've done with these tabs now all of the options are accessible on the right hand side now right so if you wanted to access for example this new incognito uh, option which allows you to browse without keeping any history on your on your PC about where you went well yeah I gotta go up here to the right hand side if you want to use the add application shortcut option you gotta go to the right hand side so just it takes a little bit of getting used to right that the options are on the right but that's because they want to keep things not cluttered right so for the adding uh, a new application shortcut you would open up your Google mail page click on that option and then it asks you what do you want to make a shortcut to your desktop press OK and then you get a little shortcut to your Gmail on your desktop right so that's that's what this is all about uh, new features that uh, they're working on adding I like the developer view here for accessing and viewing the source very clean easy to read the source right that's uh, always welcome um, but everything is pretty much the same as, as in uh, Firefox I mean the, the options that I that I see uh, the way um, uh, the buttons behave, you know, like adding a bookmark. That's the same uh, pop-up window almost as in Firefox. Uh, the icons, though, there's less icons. See those buttons at the top, forwards, backwards, reload. Those are all the uh, uh, all you got. And then you got these icons on the right-hand side for accessing your history, your downloads, clearing your browser, the options, all of that. Now I did find under the options though uh, the ability to add the home button. So you know how. Uh, on most browsers you get like a home button well that's the only way to add that is to go into the options and under there you can do some some uh, changes right so for example you want to add what page the browser will open up first when you when you launch it so you can just go ahead and add that that's nothing new we have we have that already in other browsers but this is how you do it right just so, just so you know the same type of options exist here it's just a matter of going and finding them so show home button here it is right you just check it off and then it will add it at the top uh, over there in between in between these uh, other buttons okay so just check it off here 
and then um, and then you'll see it here appear on the top okay but that's all you get no more if you want to print you press control P right if you want to view the history well you got to go through the other ways that I showed you a second ago to view the history uh, there's some minor tweaks right that you can uh, go ahead and, and select you know where do you want things to be downloaded to uh, do you want it to ask you where to download things to stuff like that so uh, nothing nothing out of the ordinary these are standard basic features that uh, a web browser should have and I'm glad that they uh, added it in here right so these are all standard and um, expected options so I'm, I'm glad that they exist so um, the only thing to remember is always go to the right hand side right to access that um, it has built-in uh, security right so it will tell you or hint, give you hints you know when you're trying to access some suspicious sites so something looks shady and, and uh, uh, could be a potential uh, hazard a malicious content that will let you know so that's good um, but other than that you know when you right click on, on the toolbars here at the top and you go to add bookmarks things like that that's still all the same right it's just the interface it's cleaner now you got more room to, to navigate you see more of the web page now um, so I, I like I like the fact that it does that it's just that you've got this really long URL bar at the top though and um, uh, everything is accessible on the right now the, these are the dynamic tabs that I was telling you about if you hold on to a tab and drag it down or, or, or manipulate things back and forth you can actually uh, have a, you know, another browser open up instantly right by just dragging it out of there uh, another feature is the task manager if I right click here at the top and then access the task manager Google made a task manager for the browser itself so if something hangs on your browser you don't have to shut down the entire browser and launch it again you can now end the task of just that one process right so if it's the flash that's causing the problem for example I'll just go ahead and end the process of my uh, video that's running here on this on this um, web page right and then there you go it ends the task of that video it's dead now and now I can continue browsing and doing my business here right on the page so um, uh, if I wanted to reload it then just click on the reload button back in business again right refreshes it so it's nice to know that uh, you can have a little bit more control on what is going on between the tabs and if something hangs you can still regain control without having to shut and lose everything that you just uh, where you were at right um, other features like clearing the browser history and all that that's still the same right those pop-up windows they, they look almost identical to Firefox nothing new there um, just a matter of going in and um, looking at them trying them out right again on the right hand side okay so when you get a chance and if you're interested in trying the beta of Google Chrome go ahead to the website google.com slash chrome and uh, download the beta try it out let me know what you think and um, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching